Donald Trump's presidency has been overshadowed by two crucial questions. Did he and his campaign team collude with Russia to swing the 2016 election in his favor? And did Trump try to obstruct justice? At the FBI headquarters, special counsel Robert Mueller was appointed to find out. His inquiry goes all the way back to what happened in another famous building, Trump Tower, in June 2016. A Kremlin-linked Russian lawyer had offered Trump's campaign team potentially damaging material on rival candidate Hillary Clinton to help him beat her. But the following month, the FBI launches a counterintelligence operation looking at possible collusion. They already know Russian hackers are trying to interfere with the election. Trump wins the presidency in November 2016, but from the outset, his White House is besieged by questions over his links with Russia. National Security Advisor Michael Flynn resigns for misleading the administration over talks with the then Russian ambassador to the US. And then former Attorney General Jeff Sessions recuses himself from investigations into collusion because he failed to admit he'd met twice with the same Russian ambassador. In May, Trump fires FBI Director James Comey, having asked him to drop an inquiry into Flynn's Russia contacts. Robert Mueller is appointed special counsel, with Trump repeatedly calling his inquiry a witch hunt. There was no collusion at all. Most visibly while standing next to Russian President Vladimir Putin. And after a barrage of criticism from Trump for not protecting him from Mueller, Attorney General Sessions resigned at the president's request raising questions about the scope of this investigation. Sessions' permanent replacement, William Barr, says he'll make as much of Mueller's report available to the public as possible. Owen Fairclough, CGTN, Washington.